all right guys so park to get update again and that's nice like they update in the game oftenly so that's good that that's increased the player count but before we start i want to say something to hazel and justin it's not about the uh, updates uh, i got banned from parkour discord server which is sucks for me because i'm doing updates right whenever you guys update i am seeing that later uh, the reason i got banned is unknown i don't really know the reason i got banned uh, i got banned by Sarah. Uh, so if you guys can check what's the reason i got banned and actually if you guys can unban me i appreciate that if not then it's fine but yeah uh this is a roblox parker update video uh, i hope you guys are gonna like it this update is not a big but it's really cool stuff in it i hope you guys are gonna enjoy this update as well i think i'm gonna enjoy this update even though they nerfed a couple things i liked i think this is fine let's get into it so the first update was binoculars the binoculars ugh, i can't even say it binoculars is gone and they added spyglass i don't know why did they they were maybe bored or something but i didn't mind using the old one but they added this one this looks okay i don't mind as i said this time i noticed that whenever you zoom you can see the spawn uh, stats um, etc uh, guys i don't know why they did it maybe it's accident maybe they're gonna fix it it's kind of annoying every time you zoom you're gonna see that at the top but other than that i don't really mind it looks nice but the thing is we're carrying too much thing right now do you guys realize there's like a blocks of cola spy glass Adrenaline bell, grappler, glow, like... So I want to say you guys something that I was hearing a long time ago, like one year ago. Justin and Hustle were talking to add a weapon to the game. It never happened, I don't know why. So they keep adding stuff to the game, so I will not surprise if they add like small sword where we can fight sometimes. It can be cool to be honest, I will like it. I will like that, I would dig that. Anyways, let's go to the next update. And next update is that they added signs, new signs, and they call them emos. I don't know why, to be honest, but yeah, I'm not gonna question it. It's basically every time you use wall boost, wall run, or gear, it will give you a sign. It's actually nice because sometimes uh, I realize that I'm forgetting that I have wall run left. There is actually two options. If you enable the settings, you will see the signs left, right, up, down on your screen. But if you disable it, you will see all of the signs in one place, which is better. I suggest you guys to use that one because it's better to see everything in one place instead of checking left, right, up, down, you know? Right now you guys see the signs appears top of my screen and it's actually smaller and it's better. If you wonder what's the signs for, basically the bottom sign is for gears, left side for wall runs, top of them is for wall boost. If you use your left arm, you will see sign in left side and if you use your right right arm you will see sign in right side if you used only one wall boost you will see only one arrow and if you used two wall boosts you will see two arrow next up that is basically wind sounds if you go speedy you will hear wind sounds that's it basically if you fall you will hear it if you go up you will hear it if you go left right you will hear it doesn't matter where you're going you will hear it if you go so fast They also added, if you go really fast, your camera will shake. But this works only if you're in the first person. So if you're in third person, it will not affect it. Uh, sounds nice, to be honest. I really liked it. Not gonna lie, it gives nice dynamic to the game. But other than that, yeah. other than that it's not much useful thing. So there's a couple things in update log. Uh, I don't know what can I do to show them, but I will just read to you guys. True aim in the first person is now not affected by camera offset. I don't really know what they mean to be honest. Uh, 
I have to be honest, I don't really know what they mean, but okay. If you guys know, just say in the comments so we know. Uh, improve dot cursor dot reflect trim. Uh, I think that's just improve your aim pretty much. Change dot cursor appearance. It's basically adding shadow behind of dot cursor. Added vignette effects for high speeds. So every time you go speedy, your vignette will be more darker, which is sucks. I don't see guys you guys use the vignette. I don't really know why they exist, but I think they try to make the game a little bit realistic, which is <laughs> funny. I mean, uh, in which country you can fly like this, bro? Tell me so I can know. Anyways, MacDash slightly buffed means they probably saw my video. If not, then they was thinking to buff MacDash. I don't know. So basically now you MacDash even further. That's it. Oh, last update is that the Quill Boost and Adrenaline Belt is nerfed, but it's slightly so you guys might not uh, feel the change or difference. For me, I didn't realize there any nerf. It was just normal, but but if I play even more, I will probably gonna realize it. I don't really know why did they nerf it. It's just nice move. Like I really like Quill Boost now. It's one of my favorite things in game. But yeah, that was it. Uh, now I will leave you guys with the run I just made after run. Enjoy. Don't know what to do, how could you help me through? I just can't take it 